This is a uh, papaya of some variety. Variety is a little bit vague. It's either Rainbow Valley, which is a cross of mountain purple and uh, babaco, I think. Um, or it could be mountain purple, or it could just be babaco, or it could be something different. It's an unknown. Um, sadly, it's got slightly over wet this year. And you can see that is not what it should look like, where the roots should be. So we're going to have to chop this down and essentially take cuttings off it to see if we can start again. So, see how this goes. Might have to, I'm going to try and do this with the phone in one hand. But I don't know if that's going to be successful. Maybe I can pop you guys on here. And we'll give this a go. I'm not very experienced at taking cuttings. But I think there's a lot of rotten stuff on here. I'll just hack a bit of it away and see it's very rotten. So yeah, we're going to have to take a bit more than that. We find something that looks firm, green, and something we can propagate from. That's looking a bit more healthy. I'm doing a pretty poor job of this. That looks like a healthier bit of growth. And what we might do, because we're doing this anyway, is we might speculate and see if we can get a couple of cuttings out of this, maybe even three. So, this has had a bit of an injury in the past. And, uh, when it was younger, it got damaged when the pot was being moved and it broke here, so it's a bit of a weak spot anyway. So I'm going to speculate to cut across there. It's still nice and green inside, so it's good. And you might be able to see there's a tiny wee little growth coming out here already. In which case, I'm going to be brave again and have hopefully three plants. Now, I'm going to uh, just have these three. So we've got to make sure we get them the right way up. One, the original base, two. And the top three and then we're going to um, prepare those and we're gonna put them into some potting mix that's still to be breaded so that's the potting mix or rather the uh, cutting mix we're going to use it's a mixture of uh, vermiculite largely sand but with a tiny bit of compost in there for a bit of nutrition um, but primarily you can take cuttings in sand and just go from there in most instances. Uh, Babaco and papaya, um, papaya are generally quite easy to take cuttings from, so fingers crossed this is going to be uh, at least 66% successful. We'll see how we go. Okay, so getting these things into the pots here, as you can see, there's been a couple here already, and we're going to take that big one that was the original base. We've got some powdered rooting hormone from Egmont. It's powder rather than the liquid version. I'm not sure which is better or worse, so we just dip that in, get it nicely covered, tap off the spares. There's no point in wasting too much. So this is meant to promote root growth. Um, some of these are made from an extract from um, chemical extract or a chemical based on um, willow um, also similar stuff to aspirin and um, that's why people sometimes put aspirin in uh, cut flower water because it keeps them going a bit longer it promotes the um, flowers to get some roots I guess so we're going to make a wee hole and go right in the middle there 
I'm just going to plunk that right in the middle. Tuck it in. And the trick with these this time, obviously I failed last time, is going to be making sure they don't get too wet, and especially with cuttings. Cuttings have a propensity to um, start rotting and get fungal growth where you've got your cutting. Sadly, that can be the end of your plant or your cutting. So I'll firm that down. I think that firming it down just means it can't wobble around too much and when those new roots are forming you don't want the stalk wobbling and <clears throat> ripping them off again. So here we go. Two of those. This is all a bit of a an experience. As I might have said before, it's um I've got a few cuttings to be successfully taken and uh had a few which have been complete failures, so Let's see what happens with these ones. Fingers crossed. Okay, and the last step. I tend to treat papaya, or pawpaw as some people call it, as um, kind of like a cactus really. So um, we are going to put a little bit of water in there for them. This is probably going to be a small amount of water and it will be infrequent. I'm not going to do this very often. That will probably suffice for most of the time, and beyond that, we'll probably just spray them to uh, keep the stems moist. For the most part, I think they're um, they're obviously not a succulent, but they can retain a lot of moisture in that herbaceous-looking uh, stem. So, just throwing a cover on it, I believe, will be enough. Keep it. Moist and happy. It's got a wee roof. And they can have the wee mini greenhouses. They can go and sit in the greenhouse in the back where it's a bit more shady but warm. Hopefully they'll take in a few weeks.